What is up you guys and welcome back to Ungeek. I'm here with Vincent Hauson aka Senpai Kazu. <laughs> yes. No, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Vincent Hauson from The Geeks. Uh, and then we are here at uh, Bangkok, Thailand because we attended a press conference inside Thailand Game Expo. Right? Yeah. So this is the PPP Esports Community Championship launch. Yes. Right? Um, it's PPP Esports 2020. 2020, yeah. Launch. It's a mouthful. Pa siya. But yeah. you know, they are you know starting out in this really good endeavor. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. uh, I guess quick highlights lang. Uh, of the day, you know, or at least of, of what was discussed. Yeah. So, um, what was the interesting points, Siguro, for you that was raised? For me, mm. it's the increase of games mm. they're bringing. Yeah. I think they're bringing in more mm. for for the community and the regional aspect, yeah. especially with uh, Mobile Legends, um, Blota 2, yeah. PUBG Mobile, mm -hmm. and I'm forgetting the, the one game. Wait. Wait. Kaya mo yan. Kaya ko yan. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> no, because initially, when we first saw, when they actually um, announced it, we were taken aback because we only saw one game that was for the Philippines, which yes. was Mobile Legends. Yes. Now, for you, for those of you who don't know, no, uh, PvP Esports, what they're doing is that they're trying to build uh, esports on a like a community level. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So they have two sort of tracks right now. One is for students. Yeah. Uh, the or campus. they call it the campus. And then the other one is for corporates. Yeah. So they have these two championships happening. Uh, I believe last year they started with a uh, corporate uh, championship as well. Yeah. Uh, I think they announced that. And then they they have been you know in the scene naman sila. Mm -hmm. It's just that they're more solidified right now. And then they they have clear plans na talaga of rolling out everything and what they want to do in the region and right. it's not just you know on a per country level mm -hmm. pvp esports is yeah brainchild i guess of singtel mm -hmm. so if, for those who don't know uh singtel uh, and globe medyo tight sila yes they're so, very tight they're very tight diba ganun yung aspect niya so mm -hmm. yun nga i think tama ka when what you said na they're bringing in more games kasi nagulo talaga tayo eh. para but Mobile Legends lang, mm -hmm. right? And uh, Smith Cindy Tan, the marketing head, I believe, of uh, Singtel, expounded that they're working on, you know, more games for Season 2. They're really trying right. to study everything. Right. And uh, one of the things you said that with their presentation, mm -hmm. um, even up to now, mm -hmm. for the first season, they have... Ayun, natatanda ko ng game. It's League of Legends. Mm, okay. Goodness. Um, yung sa campus, it, it's your game. I know, pa right? Naman. It's my game. Pa naman and I forgot about it. <laughs> All right. They segregated it into two. Yeah. Diba? Yung campus yeah. Yeah. level and yung, yung um, oh, corporate. corporate level. Yeah. The corporate level would have Dota 2. Yeah, Dota 2. And um, PUBG Life. Yes. And then for the for the ano, for the campus, campus level, yeah. you have Mobile Legends mm -hmm. and League of Legends. League of Legends, yeah. So yung dalawang MOBA nandun, tas may MOBA and a BR. Yes. For that. Yeah. And for the, ano, I think with the, with everything that happened then, mm. for the first season, out of the four countries that, ano, we will be participating only in one, yeah. one game. In one game. It is ML. ML. For now. Yeah. Eventually, though, kasi, uh, it was explained to us during a uh, more detailed um, Q&A yeah. that, um, there's a possibility, uh, yung, the possibility of the Philippines getting into more hmm. of the games coming in. Because it's interesting to see, because uh, since Singtel and Globe are, you know, tight. If you are checking out or be, are aware of what's happening within the local scene, yeah, we have the, ano ne, we have the collegiate league. Yes. So League of Legends, hmm. they already, are, um, Globe has already had had a few, have had a few um, tournaments, yeah, na collegiate for yeah. League of Legends, yeah. and then. For PPGL. May PPGL yeah, tayo, PPGL, yeah. which is yung, alam naman natin, na pag ML fans kayo, imposible hindi nyo alam. Yeah, so... That the PPGL is one of those, um, I think, mga jump points, at least for, for the Philippine players to get into the uh, PVP Esports regional yes. competition. Uh, one of the key things that really, is, um, I guess, resonated with me is how they really wanted to start it as a community building exercise, mm -hmm. not just about you know putting up more tournaments here and there. Right, right. Um, their CEO of International Business, Arthur Lang, said that you know what, it's not just about creating tournaments because mm -hmm. eh. mm -hmm. anyone can do that. Yeah, honestly, super refreshing. I guess from a brand perspective as well, uh, that they really try to differentiate themselves by creating mm -hmm. value. What right. they want to do is to bring value to the community, right, right. which communities are not served. And then how can we serve them better? Mm -hmm. uh, and in their presentation, in the discussion during the Q and A's, 
uh, they really expounded on that and they kept on harping on the whole culture aspect. It resonated with me. Eh. Parang, to be honest, it, it felt like they were selling they, they were they were selling the value. Eh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, they were, they were. and I was pretty much sold hook, line, and sinker. Mm -hmm. I'm like, ah, okay, for the first time, someone gets it. Right. And and it's great, fine, it's taken you quite a while. But it's great because you know it's not half baked. Eh. It's mm -hmm. not reactive, mm -hmm. which is I think very very important. Now, na, yes, in the in the industry right now, rather than mm. not within the Philippines. Yeah, reactive because the Philippine industry right yeah. now. Pero kasi like if had, something happens, someone else tries to do you yeah, know tries to one, like one's up the bottom. But, but um, may, since we have already two established major tournaments mm, for yeah. certain games. Yes. Uh, what I actually like is that there is that regional level. Because let's say that you finished the um, yung ibang tournaments hmm. you you yung won mo, parang ganun. you won the the, the season hmm. you won the season hmm. what happens next hmm. kasi di ba ang ang naging susi niyan before was that people are thinking na if you're the winner of this uh, tournament hmm. you'll be immediately moving to the let's say sea games kasi yeah. yun yung sea games yung naging ano eh pinaka ng ng representation of the country yeah. before yeah but with with PVP sports you have now the capacity to uh, represent the country on a more Hopefully, consistent um, basis. platform oh. or basis. Because oh. it's composed of four regions, yeah. four countries. Sorry. Four countries, yeah. Aside from the Philippines, we have Thailand, which yeah. is nandito nga kaya nandito yeah. kami. We have um, Indonesia and um, Singapore. Singapore, right? So there's this more regional tournament that yeah. you can get into. That if once na makapasok si Philippines, yeah. Kasi with season 1 with just ML. Hmm. How about season 2? Ang ako kasi my thinking here is that since we have PPGL and PPGL has tournaments on top of ML yes. like Tekken, mm -hmm. like um ano pa bang ibang anon, NBA, maybe just maybe na we could get into that regional level and then yeah. eventually to the global level. Ah okay. So parang you ang hope mo is for PVP Esports to develop these games as well to be part of the whole lineup yeah. na gamitin nila. Kasi parang, uh, this, parang this is coming from someone who's always wanted a more global perspective when it comes to the games that you competitive yeah. play. Kasi for me, for example, before I wanted, let's say, a card game mm, na talagang mm. minahal ko for <laughs> two, three years. Yeah. Pero since the company did not want it to be competitive, they killed it. They, no, they did not uh, implement a global card system. Ah, right, Parang kasi right. that you have in Magic the Grand Prix yeah. and then the world ni ano mm -hmm. ni, ni Magic. Pero yeah. to be able to get to that, you have to compete. You have to consistently get points, earn points, and then earn the seat. Yung card game na nilaro ko, wala. Walang ganun? Walang ganun. Ah, okay. And parang you just have to win the qualifiers, one qualifier, yeah. and that's it. Alright. So it's kind of suck. Uh, so I understand the frustration uh, that if you want to be like the competitive. Yeah. Pero with with PVP esports yeah. um, as a regional entity, you have that capacity now. So we just have to wait at least in the Philippines. Magkaroon nun, kasi yeah. That's right. Because we were asking them about like um, what about the Philippines? Mm -hmm. About mm -hmm. when are you or when can we feel the presence of PVP? Right. And uh, they did assure us naman, that they will be coming in. They did not give a specific timeline for now, but they mentioned that definitely 2020, mm -hmm. something will happen and mm -hmm. PVP will be there. Right. So we will be watching out for that as well. So again, this is just a really quick recap. It's just a quick um, insight on the stuff that we saw. If you want more of that, please check out the Geeks as well. They they're running a lot of content on PVP Esports. Uh, you did actually shoot the full interview as yes. well, so you might cut some snippets and then yeah. show that as well. Um, same with Ungeek. Again, it's really just our thoughts because we wanted to really, I guess, pick each other's brain. We're mm -hmm. super excited about this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's it's been a while for me eh, to be <laughs> to be really engaged mm -hmm. in, um, in in a press con. Because it's not, it's not even, there's no tournament. There's mm. no, nothing happening. I mean, fine, there are people who are playing in Thailand Game Expo. Yeah, there Expo. was, there was, the, actually, there was, there was a pre-tournament. There was a pre-tournament, yeah. But there was a pre -tournament. that's for the uh, corporate. Corporate uh, Dota 2. Corporate, AIS. yeah, corporate Dota 2 for, for AIS, Thailand. for Thailand specifically. Mm -hmm. So, para it's really just a showcase mm -hmm. of what it is, diba? But in terms of like, may action ba tong event na to? Mm -hmm. Hindi. Parang pumunta kami dito, nilipad kami ni Singtel for a press con. Mm -hmm. And, Honestly, in the back of my mind, I was like, "May, may masasulat ba ako?" But mm -hmm. actually, and dami kasi ang ganda ng plans nila. And the rollout for me is just like one of the best I've ever seen in terms of like how they're planning to 
go about it in building a community based yeah event yeah and uh with that uh i guess we're just we're gonna wrap this up now uh and if you have not subscribed to this channel again subscribe to ungeek.ph and subscribe to the geeks as mm -hmm. well yeah we'll see you guys on the next one bye bye guys keep on gaming